we're here at Vance and Hines of the Dino Room. We haven't run the, the bike for almost a year and a half, and we want to make sure everything still works. These dyno runs are extremely important to us because we haven't been on the salt. Uh, it's been rained out for the last few years and we just haven't been able to run. And so this is an excellent opportunity to make sure everything works before we get there. Otherwise, it's very expensive and just too late to, to do that. We've done a lot of modifications over this last year and a half. We wanted to try those out as well. We haven't been just sitting around watching TV at home. And there's still a few more that we want to add before we go, but we've got a couple of months now until we go. And uh, as far as the mechanics go of the thing, it works. And uh, we did do some shifting today on with the uh, with it on the dyno because it's a rolling road dyno. We were able to shift the new transmission, and that worked just fine. And also shift the engine transmission, and that worked fine. And we ran it faster this time than we did before. We got up to a little over 200 miles an hour with the rear wheel. And that was in second gear, high range, uh, with the secondary transmission. We probably took it maybe over the limit of the 200 miles an hour that we did with it, but it worked okay. And also, it's a rolling road, and so we're limited with the tire traction. And uh, the tires that we have on it are pretty valuable, and when they start slipping, it tears it up pretty quick, so we stopped. We do have a spare motor just identical to this one. We'll look at how much oil it came past the, the breather, the engine breather, but if it's okay, we may not re redo it. I'll see what Byron Hines and, and Eddie Craywick want to do, if they want to freshen it up or not, but we have a, another fresh motor. And, you know, we got another bullet in the box, so we're okay. Anyway, we had a real successful day, and uh, we got up to horsepower, which I know a lot of people wondered what we did last time. This is with the, about 20 pounds of boost, and which is very encouraging, and everything seemed to work just great. We haven't had a chance to check the bike out on the salt yet, so these tests and tune setup is real crucial for us, and we do have some time to make some modifications in case we do, because you just don't know how well this thing's going to work until you actually really try it. I mean, it should be good. It works on the dyno. We can the engine runs, we can spin the rear wheel, everything's cool, so it should work. I mean, it has worked in the past. The bike's 25 years old and we've been pretty fast with it. And uh, all we've really done is in increase some, the horsepower and the drive system to make it more reliable. And that I don't really think there'll be any problems and there shouldn't be. We've done a good job on it, so it should work fine. Parts Unlimited is staying on board with me even though we haven't run the bike last year, but they're, they're going to continue supporting me along with Vance and Hines and his vendors who have signed up to help me out, like Drag Specialties and Performance Machine and so forth. Uh, anyway, it's just been really great. Providing the conditions and the weather are okay this year, because um, everybody's kind of worried about the conditions of the salt from all the rains from last year first opportunity we're going to have is going to be in July at the Test and Tune Meet for the USFRA. It's, a, it's a, not a timed event and you can't set records or anything, but at least you can run three miles and there'll be, there will be traps at the end of that three miles, but basically it'll just be how, how well things are going. And I, I haven't had any seat time now for several years, so I need to get some seat time in this thing. The next event we're going to go to in 2015 is the Motorcycle uh, Speed Trials, which is AMA and FIM sanctioned, and uh, that will be for a record possibility. But again, it's, it'll probably be a test and tune for us, or any changes that we had to make after the first run, it'll give us a month to, to go do it, and that starts in the end of August and then the 1st of September. And then the, the last opportunity to set a record will be at the Mike Cook meet, which is in the uh, middle of September 2015. That, that event is crucial for us because it's a long course, which is worth maybe 20 miles an hour faster than you can go on a short course. And that'll be our, probably our last chance, weather permitting and conditions permitting this year. You know, basically we've done all we can do, you know, without going to the salt flats, and that's what's left. And, and uh, because of the bad conditions last year, it's, it's very iffy, and it, not myself, but everybody else has their fingers crossed that we're going to have some good salt to run on. It's getting thin, you know, and so we're just, that's the next 
test is to run it. That's the bottom line. And, and we think we've done everything else we could do to get ready to do that, that we could do here in town without actually running it. So that's where we're at.